Hola, Nuina, ¿cómo estás? Pues fenomenal, Ben, ¿tú qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Uh, we're very excited because today we've got some more very fantastically real Spanish words and phrases to share with you, right? As you know, hopefully, what we like to do is to share real Spanish that's used daily in real life so that when you're speaking Spanish on your travels or with intercambios, you sound incredibly authentic and people say, Madre mía, qué ¿Dónde bien. has aprendido esto? ¿Dónde has aprendido eso? Wow, where did you learn that? Pues in notes in Spanish, claro. Mm -hmm. So, what have we got, Marina? We've got a few phrases that start like notes in Spanish. No, no te... <laughs> okay. So when let, we, let me explain. Yeah. You explain. When we when someone uh, in Spain that we think maybe they don't speak English ask us about our website name, we say it's called notes in Spanish. Yeah, we pronounce it in a very Spanish way. Notes in Spanish. So these phrases start start like notes in Spanish with no, no te. te no te no notes in mm -hmm. Spanish no te. They're all not. Let's have an example okay. so people know what we're... So you don't think we're crazy. Yes, let's, we are let's, a bit. Let's jump, we are a bit. Let's jump in. No te... Pases, Ben. No te pases. Okay. I came up with a brilliant way to explain this. It's like, no te pases is like, calm down, don't go overboard, right? Now, imagine that we are... Inviting some friends for lunch yeah. and I'm preparing the menu the day before and asking them, should we put this, should we... Go, you have to go shopping and making this list. Yeah, and, and I look at the list and I go, Pero Marina, a ver, tenemos gambas, gambas paella, pollo asado, <laughs> eh, jamón, queso, eh, aceitunas, eh, ensalada, otro ensalada y, y gazpacho. No te pases, <laughs> solo somos cuatro personas. <laughs> Yeah, this huge list of food, and I say, no te pases, solo somos cuatro personas, don't go overboard, there's only four of us. This is a real life example. Eh? And quite, the quite real, I'll, I'll tell you the real life example that would come back, and it would be like Ben would have a go at me, you are, uh, you exaggerate a lot, this is too much, and I, and he has a go at me, and I say, no te pases, Ben, don't have a go at me. Right, so, so yeah, I'm having a go, and there's too much food, no te pases con la comida, and she says, no te pases, Ben, it means exactly, stop having a go at me. So you can use it then, if someone's really like going on and on at you about something, uh, you can say, no te pases, and you can also add, no es para tanto, <laughs> no, it's a good one, no es para tanto. It's not worth, you know, it's not worth all this fuss. What are you talking about? Okay, so no te pases is, is where we're starting with our not te phrases today. The next one, Marina. No te hagas el interesante. Don't be the interesting one. Uh, that's a very interesting. That's what it literally means. Don't be the interesting one. But it doesn't Don't make yourself the interesting one. Okay, so when actually. is this actually used? When is it used? Yes, when someone, for example, is withholding some information, juicy information. Juicy information, <laughs> yeah, some gossip. For example. How do you say gossip in Spanish? Cotilleo. Right, so imagine I come back and Marina, I say, Marina, yo tengo un cotilleo muy interesante sobre nuestra amiga eh, María. So I've got some really interesting gossip about our friend Maria. Pero no sé si te lo voy a decir, but I don't know if I'm going to tell you. And Marina says... No te hagas el interesante. Venga, cuéntamelo. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop holding out on me. Come on, tell me about it. So this is a good one. When somebody's got some gossip or, or they've got some information and they're trying to pretend that they've got, you know, they know stuff that you don't know. No te hagas el interesante. Cuéntamelo y ya. Tell me now. Okay, next, no te. No te hagas el loco, Ben. Don't, don't be... Don't make yourself crazy. <laughs> this is interesting, is it? Because it's not actually about going crazy. It's about uh, kind of pretending you don't know something, isn't it? Yes. Let's, let's have an example. Let's say... Ben, ayer llegaste tardísimo. Te estuve esperando hasta las doce. ¿Dónde estuviste? So, Ben, uh, yesterday you got back really late. You were out till twelve. Where were you? And I go, twelve? No, 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 no. I was home much earlier than that. I was just kind of just had a quiet drink with a friend. I think I was home at half past ten. <laughs> no way. And you say, no te... No te hagas el loco, Ben. No es verdad. Que a las doce yo me levanté y todavía no habías llegado. I'd, what? A las doce? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so we can go on that for that, like that for hours. But Marina says, no te hagas el loco. Stop pretending that you don't know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what time you came back at. Also, for example, with our son, no te hagas el loco. 
y llena lavavajillas ya. Ah, ok. He's... So we've been telling him to fill the lavavajillas, the dishwasher, for half an hour. He keeps disappearing and he's, oh, I'm just coming, I'm just coming. And you'd I'm say, going, say it I'm again. I'm going to the toilet, I'm going to the toilet. Okay. Leo, no te hagas el loco ya y llena la lavavajillas. Eso es, yeah. So stop pretending you don't know what you have to do and get on with it, right? Okay, Exacto. so no te hagas el loco is a great one. Next. No te hagas el listo. Ven, no te hagas el listo. Ah, don't be the clever clocks. El yeah. listo is like a clever clocks. Okay, so stop being a clever clock. So for example, um, we're talking about, um, I don't know, countries of the world or something like that. And I start naming all of these countries and all of the... Ca I, I can't actually do this, but all the capital cities and all the countries, and I say, ah, my geography knowledge is just top notch. I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm more modest than this. But if I were to do that, Marina would say, No te hagas el listo, Ben, que yo también me la sé. Okay, stop being such a clever clock, Ben. Yo también me. Me la sé. Me I, la I know all the capitals. Las, las ciudades. Las capitales. <laughs> Right, I know them as well. Is it la capital? L las capitales del ah. mundo, o la capital. I would have said el, mira, mm. a good one, la capital. la capital. Okay, so no te hagas el listo, stop being such a clever clogs. Another word for a clever clogs, uh, for somebody who kind of know, uh, know it all, is... is sabelo todo. Un sabelo todo. Sabe, no, lo, it, todo. In know a one it word, all. sabelo todo. Yes, yeah, it's, it's one word. Mm. Un sabelo todo, a lovely word. Okay, so that's it. Um... Four note words from notes in Spanish. We hope you enjoyed them. Uh, if you know any more, leave us a comment underneath. Uh, if you've got anything that you'd like us to cover in these videos, leave us a comment as well. We'd, we'd love to hear from you and we'd be delighted to see if we can respond to, to your suggestions. And finally, make sure you sign up for our newsletter if you haven't yet. You will get our super free resort. Uh, resort. Report, yeah, no, no free resorts here. Free report, how to get fluent in Spanish fast, which has helped loads of people get fluent in real Spanish like this. ¿Algo más? Nada más por hoy, nos vemos pronto. Venga, hasta luego. Hasta luego.